Welcome back y'all for another video to recalibrate with Raw Natty Nate aka the Nice Cream King coming to you live with this raw food thing. So we're in the kitchen today and I wanted to bring you guys with me. I'm going to be making some cauliflower wings and I'm going to be using a dressing out of Lissa's dip, Plant Based Dips and Dressings book. This book has over a hundred recipes in it. And uh, if you don't have a copy, the ebooks and the print versions are available. I'll put the links in the description below. But I'm going to be using one of her uh, dressings in here to put all over the cauliflower. And then we're going to dehydrate it. I'm going to show you guys how we make these delicious cauliflower wings. Always raw, always vegan. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, we're going to be using Lissa's barbecue mustard and she has this yellow mustard in this book as well. We're gonna use this to coat the collie wings and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm excited. This is out of the plant-based dips and dressings. This book, seriously, has changed my life. I'm not even kidding. So I'm just using this tomato to kind of hold it open, but I'm gonna be uh, using this dressing. So let's go into what's next. All right, there it is, you guys. That quick, a mustard barbecue sauce. And this is out of this world, it, like unbelievable. So yeah, what we'll do next is grab the cauliflower. And of course, cauliflower doesn't come like this. So what you gotta do is you buy it from the store, cut it up, break it into little flowerettes, and freeze it in a, in a gallon-sized freezer bag. So I've got these ones here all ready to go, and they're all frozen. And what's really cool about frozen vegetables is just like ice, water expands, right? So it actually gets the water that's in the cell busts the cell wall of the vegetable. And then that way, when you dehydrate it, these little bad boys are gonna be just like they were steamed or, um, yeah, yeah, steamed is the, it's basically the best way that I could describe the texture. They, they have the same kind of chew and uh, consistency as if they were have, it would have been steamed. And it's amazing because it's still raw, right? You freeze it and you dehydrate it. We're just gonna dehydrate it for um, about five, six hours at, at about 110, 115, no hotter than 115. So I'm gonna pour all these guys into the bowl and uh, mix up that barbecue sauce and then put them on the dehydrator sheet, done. So it's a fairly quick process. Make the dressing, maybe five, six minutes to make the dressing. Of course, you have to prep your cauliflower the day before. Um, that only takes maybe 10 minutes at most. This is two um, heads of cauliflower. So Lissa and I both will eat one head of cauliflower. Actually, my son's coming tonight, so we maybe have him share with us a little bit too. But uh, let me get into this. Okay, you guys, we're just gonna toss these into the bowl. That's a pretty big batch, yeah. You know, we might need a bigger bowl to stir them in. Let's give it a shot. All right, we're gonna pour the barbecue sauce on. The barbecue mustard sauce. Oh man, you guys, this is gonna be so good. And then I've got two spatulas here. We really like these ones. They're really nice for the Vitamix OXO. Um, you can get them in the link in the description down below. And then we'll just mix these up real good and get that sauce all over. All right guys, so now that we've got these dialed in on the tray, the dehydrator sheet, we're going to put them in the uh, dehydrator for just a little bit. Well, not really a little bit, more like six hours, but check these out. Are these just delicious or what? Barbecue mustard? Oh man, okay, so let's get them over here in the dehydrator. And like I said, these are gonna be in here for probably a good six hours. And we're gonna wanna flip them but um, in about an hour and a half, they will be ready to eat. They'll be super delicious. 
So like I said, kick this bad boy on to about 110 and uh, let it sit for, yeah, like I said, about six hours. Make sure you check it. And like I said, about an hour and a half, they're so delicious to eat, but it's nice. The more you dehydrate them, they become uh, a little chewier. You don't want to over dehydrate though. So we'll see you guys here in about six hours. All right, you guys, these have been sitting in here for several hours and I did rotate the trays and they are ready to go. Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. So incredible. And it's, they're such a nice consistency. Look at that. Just a beautiful consistency. And uh, yeah, these are gonna be great. So we're gonna make a Caesar salad and maybe dip these in some more mustard. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, now that those are ready to go, what we're going to do now is prep up a delicious salad. Look at this, you guys. We're gonna eat all of this because the collie wings, as delicious as they are, it's a dehydrated meal and we want to get some hydration in our meal. So that's why we're going with a big salad as well. And we're going to do a Caesar dressing and I'm gonna make a little extra Caesar. That way we can dip those Cali wings in there. So good. So, so good. All right, so the Caesar dressing is done. Look at that, beautiful. And get a little bit out here for, for some dipping sauce, and then we'll save the rest for the salads. Mm-hmm. Okay. Miso Caesar. Delicious. Yeah, since we're having those collie wings and it being a dehydrated meal, we want to include a nice big healthy salad with it as well. Very important. That way we can really enjoy those wings. They're not even wings, we shouldn't call them that. Collie bites and not feel so funky afterwards because we're actually getting a lot of hydration and more nutrients right here. All right, you guys, and there we have it. The Miso Caesar dip, as well as the Caesar, Miso Caesar salad, alongside these delicious Cali Bites. Look at how beautiful these things turned out. I cannot wait to dip those in the sauce. All these uh, recipes that we use today can be found in Raw Food Romance's meal plans and dips and dressing book. Actually, both of these are out of the dips and dressings book. And uh, I'll put the link in the description for you guys, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, if these are videos that you like to see, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, love you.